I am currently doing my leadership fellowship at Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. It's in New York City, one of the pillars of classical performing arts. It's a wonderful place and I'm so happy to be there right now. It's an opportunity where you get to enter the organization at a level where otherwise you would have to spend 10, 15, 20 years climbing up. Who gets that kind of opportunity right out of business school? Do my leadership fellows at an amazing organization called the Children's Investment Fund Foundation, or CIF. Its mission is to improve the lives of those living in poverty in developing countries. I joined Teach for America, where I was a director of strategy in the office of the president. I did my leadership fellowship in 2006 to 2007 at Mercy Corps. It's an international development and humanitarian aid organization working in about 35 countries around the world. I started off as the senior advisor to the chief financial officer of Partners in Health. Partners in Health works across 12 different countries, and so I've spent a great deal of time at a lot of those sites implementing these change initiatives on the ground. I sort of felt like I hit the ground running uh, at Teach for America because of the way that they had designed the program and we're very used to having fellows around. I work in the strategy and business development team and we have a few different roles within the organization. One of them is to be internal consultants to the various business units within Lincoln Center. When I was in headquarters, I worked closely with the management team across the full portfolio of programs and regions, and then I spent a year working in the Middle East and working with partner organizations as well as our teams in the region. I was the first fellow there. No one really knew what that meant. No one knew what an HBS fellow was. But that being said, you know, like you're in a different country by yourself, you're in a new organization by yourself, you're taking this leap of faith that they are going to trust you as you're gonna trust them and there's not really much you can do about it except for get really comfortable that things are going to be really tricky for a while. You know, my original role was as senior advisor to the chief financial officer of Partners in Health. And, um, you know, six months into it, I had to make a decision about whether I would go and live in Rwanda to serve as an interim chief financial officer for our operations there. And, you know, I was there two or three weeks later. I had come from a very traditional background in investment banking and there was a certain credibility and a certain status that came with working in a place in which all of your peers did the same thing, a very strong trajectory towards career path. Part of what makes you successful as a fellow is you just have to embrace that chaos and embrace that uncertainty. Cross that unbeaten path, go out there and take risks. One of the big things I learned is that uh, passion brings you very far, but you know, passion only does take you that far as well. While the fellowship program may be one year, that passion, that commitment to drive change and to apply your education to something meaningful is a lifetime commitment. So my current role at GE is focused on marketing and building new product innovations in emerging markets and developing countries. And a lot of what I did at Mercy Corps was very closely tied to what I'm doing today. So I went to Johnson & Johnson and they have a fantastic philanthropic arm, which actually does a lot of the same work as the Children's Investment Fund Foundation. You know, the Leadership Fellows Program really opened that door in which I didn't really know was there before. Ultimately, I decided that if this is really what I want to spend my career doing and I know that now, why not just get started? I could see myself at a dance company, at an opera company, maybe leading a symphony someday. One of the most surprising things has been how relevant an MBA education actually can be in a world like the performing arts. I'm so grateful that this program has given me that opportunity to, to really do um, something significant in the sector that I feel most passionate about.